You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, General Hospital fans, we have got more scenes of Valentin Cassidy next week. And with him in these scenes is Nina Reeves, his ex-wife. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I'm just wondering if Valentin is busy laying the groundwork for a reunion between him and Nina. Let's discuss what he's doing and what he may have planned on the ABC soap opera, but please click subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any of our updates. And be sure to watch out for imitation channels. There is one in particular that's trying to make itself look like us. They're trying to make their thumbnails look just like us, the same color. They're using our little Polaroid picture things. They're basically trying to lure you into clicking on their junk. And it is junk, let me tell you. Anyway, another reason to subscribe. That way you get the notifications and you can come right to our videos. All right, let's dig into what is going on with Valentina and Nina. Her marriage is in tatters. It is hanging on by a thread, a dwindling thread. And I almost feel like if there wasn't this ongoing assassination threat, Sonny Corinthos might have pulled farther away from Nina already. He's clearly torn because he's angry at Nina's betrayal, but at the same time, he doesn't want her life at risk because of this mob threat. But if her life was not at risk, you know, maybe Sonny would do things differently, act differently. Sonny does seem to be toying with the idea of reconciling with his wife. That's why Sonny brought it up the other day when talking to Michael Corinthos to kind of feel out, kind of suss out how he would feel if Sonny did not move forward with the divorce, if he got back with her And Michael said he was cool, totally cool with him being with Nina as long as he was happy. But now Sonny knows that Michael might have been paying lip service or being agreeable because he was still sitting on that huge secret that he hired Dex Heller to try and put his dad in federal prison. There are a bunch of people, though, that definitely do not want to see a Nina Sonny reunion, including Carly and Michael and Willow and Drew and B. LQ and many others. And among those who likely don't want to see a Nina Sunny reunion is Valentin Cassidyne, the man of the hour. Um, you know, at times recently, Valentin several times met with Nina and acted as her sounding board about what is going on. He is fully in support of her. He doesn't care that she called the SEC on Carly and Drew. And he is right there beside her saying that she should have whatever revenge she thinks she needs to have to pay back Drew Kane for firing her from Crimson and even worse, putting Carly Spencer in her place. Nina warned Drew and Carly that day that she would get vengeance, but then she kind of didn't do anything. But now Valentine is giving her a tool. So as of this Monday, Valentine is going to supply Nina with the power to get retribution. Valentine just made this deal to buy the invader from Sean Butler. That is confirmed. It's kind of funny because there was a leak about Sean that I saw a couple of months ago. I mentioned it in the video. And I assumed that the leak meant that he was going to be back on our screens. It would have been nice to see Sean Blakemore back as Sean Butler to handle this sales transaction in person, but it doesn't seem like it is going to go that way. But it's just kind of funny that I saw the Sean Butler leak and here it is manifesting. On Monday, Valentin shows up at the Invader offices to break the news to Alexis Davis and Gregory Chase that there is a new boss in the building. Although Valentin now owns the the invader. I doubt he plans to be involved in the day-to-day running of it. We'll see. I just wonder if he's going to hand the entire thing over to Nina to run as the managing editor, or if they're going to branch out and have a fashion arm of the invader. It's kind of funny, you know, because Alexis and Valentine are both Cassidines, and at one point they thought they were siblings. As it turns out, they are first cousins because his dad, Victor, is the brother of her dad, Miko's Cassidine. So that common bond of having been tormented by Helena Cassidyne while they were growing up is is definitely one they've discussed. Unfortunately, Valentin found out Helena is his mother, and at least Alexis only had to deal with her as a wicked murderous stepmother. So just because of their family connection and what's a pretty amicable relationship, I don't think Valentin is going to fire Alexis and put Nina in her place. I just think he is going to make Alexis 
business make room for Nina? And that's pretty interesting because, you know, Nina did just betray Alexis's baby daddy, Sonny, and she sent Carly, you know, almost sent Carly to prison. <laughs> You know, Alexis and Carly have never been friends. I think they consider themselves friendly at this point, but they have had a long and tumultuous relationship behind them. Uh, Carly helped lie about the paternity of one of Alexis's kids, too. So she was one of the people that there was that whole keep the baby away from the dad thing going. So I do assume that Alexis is not going to be a big fan of Valentine taking over her news organization and especially not with him pushing Nina Reeves onto her. Nonetheless, it is is happening and it starts on Monday the 16th. On Monday's episode, viewers get to see Nina showing up to the meeting where Valentine is unpacking the shocker for Alexis and Gregory. And then on Tuesday, Valentine offers Nina some advice and maybe it's how to wield the power that he just gave her. The bottom line to me, I think Valentine still loves Nina. I mean, he adored Anna Devane and I do think he considers her the love of his life because he's been crazy about her since he was in his 20s and was that, you know, pathetic hunchback guy in her class at the training academy that she never paid much mind to. But it's also clear that Anna will not let him back in her life. I don't think she will. And you can't really blame her after all his lies and schemes. If you remember, though, it was also lies and schemes that cost Valentine his relationship with Nina Reeves. You may recall he blew them up when it came out. He lied to Nina and hired Sasha Gilmore to pretend to be her biological mother. And the thing is, Nina's actually forgiven Valentine for all that. And she has forgiven Sasha. They're close friends. But I'm not entirely certain that a reconciliation with Valentine is on Nina's mind at this point. After all, she is still legally married to Sonny Corinthos and they need to sort all that out. So for now, I just feel like Valentine is laying all the groundwork, laying the foundation for when he can make a play for Nina and get her back in his life and far away from Sonny. What's interesting about all this also is once Sonny has a moment to breathe and stop focusing on this mob hit stuff, he may realize Valentine is inching closer to his wife. And just because Sonny Sonny doesn't want Nina right now doesn't mean he wants her ex-husband sniffing around. And, you know, Valentine making a move on Nina might be just the thing to trigger Sonny to figure out what he wants and realize that, you know, maybe that's Nina in his life, even if people don't like it. And I'm guessing the whole reveal that Carly and Michael and Dex betrayed him was to make Nina look better by comparison. We'll see how it goes, but I'm torn right now trying to figure out why Valentine is doing everything he is for Nina. Of course, she did him a solid by deleting that footage of Charlotte going into Anna's hotel room, but it feels like it's more than that. And it also feels like it's more than just him trying to make amends for that Sasha scheme. I still think Nina occupies a big piece of Valentine. Valentine's heart. Let me know what you think. And if you expect to see a Valentine Nina reunion soon, be sure and drop your comments. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely come back soon because we are here talking General Hospital seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.